Hello there, I'm Thursday and welcome to Scrabble Hacks. Today I will show you my favorite SED tricks. So uh, the primary use case for SED or what most people use it for is search and replace. So let's get started doing that. So here I have three oranges and uh, I would like to replace those with say, an apple. So I can then do orange, apple and then one, the first orange is now an apple very good and uh, of course if you want all the oranges to turn into apples we'll ask you will add g for global and then they're all apples now what if this one is capitalized and this and this one the third one is uppercase only the first one is translated to to an apple uh, but if we add then and ignore case capital i then they're all treated the same, they're, they're converted to apples as well. Right, so far, so we're good. Um, so this is how to search for place one. There you see at the end here, we don't have a J. And uh, with a J, everything, all the hits on the same line are replaced. Now, sand is pretty good for searching as well. So remember grab, right? The, to appreciate send, uh, it starts with the realization that grep is really g slash re slash p. So re here, that's regular expression. And j that we just, show, uh, just saw, that's global. So global, regular expression, print. So let's do that. So here I have a, an XML file. So I'll show you that um, here. So it, uh, it lists a couple of dependencies um, and each dependency has a group, artifact ID and a version too. And then there's some build steps here as well. And that also has a plugin with group ID, artifact ID and version. Right. So let's say that I would like to list everything that has to do with version. Um, so I have the file here that we just saw, so I will point that to said, and then I will do dash n for, that means don't output anything unless I tell you, and then I say anything that has to do with the version, print. Right, so that is pretty close to grep. See, and uh, j, and then regular expression, which is version, and then print. You could call it ray for regular expression, it's, you know, Comes quick. Very nice. So things have moved on a bit from the ED editor where this originated. So the J is at the end rather than at the front. But apart from that, it's uh, it's all stuff. Very good. So here I'm searching with said I use it instead of grep and I want everything with version then printed. And that uh, in a moment we'll see that that's very very powerful. So here I. Uh, go back to search for place and this is more advanced and so if we have a look at our XML file here again you can see we have dependencies and versions inside here and let's say rather than to edge put each line with version on it I would like just the version okay so here we can see I have um, everything with version on the line but I don't want the tags right then I can do the following I can do I use a different separation character, so not everyone knows this. So instead of slash that most people use, you can use something else. And I, I like to use a hash because most of my strings, they they don't contain a hash. It's not that important. Uh, other things you can try is like tilde. It's very solidly there. So so what I want is everything between the version tag, um, and then I get a group. You can recognize this from other regular expression contexts like parallel. Then you get a group number. So this is one. You can have more than one as well. And then print. And if you remember to close it, <laughs> um, like that, uh, you get a little string. Very cool. Uh, as you can see, I also get the, the leading white space. And if I want to remove that, I can just do like this, 
which means white space or space inside here you can have you can have all these things as well you can have a tab but in this case excuse me is it's a space so I just use a plus here one or more and since I'm only interested in what's inside of here and that's what I use for this backslash one here I effectively remove all the white space very cool right um, normally set works on lines of text so that's important to remember however set can also work on blocks of text let's have a look at how that works so if you go to the pump here you can see that I have a version tag inside of the dependency but there's also a version tag inside of the plugin here and that's a different thing so let's say I would like just a version of all the build plugins and not the dependency uh, versions. How would I go about doing that? So it turns out that set can do this really well. So I first need uh, a from and to. So the from and to, I say everything between plugins, everything between here, I want set to act on that. Right, so I will then do plugins. Then slash plugins, I have to escape that fear, and then I got an open phrase, and then I can do the thing I did earlier. So I can do do version, and then I want anything between there, and I want that, and I want to print it. I close the expression and now you only get the version of the build plugin and not the dependency version so I got up here so you can see I got all of them here I only got the one which is inside of here it's very very powerful so it can work on blocks of text um, and also of course so now the set is starting to grow it's more than one line and then you can move it into a file if you like. So I like to do that. So here I have prepare that. So this is I like to use prior mode. It gives me some colors at least. And then the shebang is been said. And then the parameters are and then are just for extended regular expressions. And then n makes it the no don't output anything unless you print it. And then the file that you are passing files around. And here you can see it's from plugin to slash plugin, and then there's a block. And then we do a search and replace revision and everything. Anything between there, then of course we can do remove white space as well. So, and to call that, you will then cat the pom, pass it on to um, version set like that. And then you, you know, it. You call it like any other program and it reads from standard input and writes to standard output. I find uh, set files, uh, the advantages that they're, they're tidy, you, they, you keep them small and they're easy, easier to maintain. The only downside of it is that you cannot pass the variables into them. So if, if you were to have like a version sh um, so this here is like a, it's a shell, uh, bash shell script. Shell script. Um, I could I could could have a variable here, and I can use that variable in the search and replace statement down here. Uh, so that's very powerful. Um, so if you need that, then inline it inside your bash file. Otherwise, I would advocate putting it in a dedicated set file. That's it. And uh, set, great stuff. Uh, you can use the search and replace. You can also only use it with searching. You can. Uh, it is line based, but you can also work on blocks. So I hope you enjoyed that. So you can delve further into the said manual, and there's uh, lots of great resources on the website. I've, here, there's a link to handy one liners that covers many use cases that you have thought of and not thought of that a set could help you with. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.